hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is anil and in this video we will see that how we can make a, a javascript application build with the webpack and this will be the default configuration of the webpack we will not going to change any kind of configuration in the webpack in the upcoming videos we will change the configuration also all right so guys if you did, uh, did not watch our previous video link is given in the description box so now let's start with this video so first of all let's make a folder and let's clear the command line also so just make a folder with the mkdir and let's say my folder name is webpack web app all right now let's go inside it the folder is empty as you can see that and let's open this empty folder inside the editor yeah so now you can see that there is nothing in this folder so let's open the command line here only so that we can just work on this interface only so first of all what we need to a uh, webpack or uh, you can say that a basic application in the javascript so we can just uh, make a package.json file so just write here npm init minus y and just hit the enter now you can see that there is a basic file there is uh, this is the folder name with the uh, application name and there's some more like version description and all all right so after that when you just uh, working with the default configuration of the web the webpack you need at least two folder with the same name what i'm just going to make one folder should be with the name of dist and uh, another will be the src all right after doing this so we need at least a file with the index dot uh, html in the dist folder and in the src folder we need uh, index dot js these are the by default entry files with the uh, webpack now let's make one more file inside the src folder like other dot js and let's make some little bit code like export uh, function and function name can be the same as the file name or it can be different also like other and uh, here we can just return other function all right so after this uh, let's import it inside the index import something from file name other and now let's import other here and uh, here you can just console.log or console.warn other function all right so after that or uh, you can see that our uh, little small tiny application is ready here with the two files now how we can make the bundle it with the webpack for that we need the uh, webpack dependency so let's install the webpack module so just write here npm i webpack and with the webpack we also need a webpack cli so just write here webpack minus cli and minus minus save so that we can also generate the package dot log dot json file so it will just take a little bit time so we can wait it wait here Yep. now this is installed and now if you are looking at the package.json we have the two de dependency also with the webpack and webpack cli so now let's clear out the command line from here and for making the build we have to make a command with the webpack so just write here build and this build will be execute the webpack so just write here webpack now just run the npm run and command with the name of build like build and just hit the enter now you can see that uh, there is a main.js file is generated and this is actually your bundle file here you can see that your two files are generated in the single file if you have the thousands of files they are still generated in a single file this is we call the uh, bundling of javascript or module bundler uh, okay, so now let's open the index.js file and uh, just write a little bit code like HTML 
add if you just want to add the title like webpack example and something and we can also add a body here and on a body just a simple right here script tag in the script we can use the src with the main dot js file so now let's uh, open this html file inside the chrome and you will see the result here in the console here it is all right like other functions so this is the uh, small example here you can see that how we can uh, make the build of our javascript files in a single file and if you still have any kind of confusion don't worry you can ask me in the comment box and uh, in the next video we will see that how we can put the manual configuration in the webpack this is with the default configuration in the webpack all right so bye bye take care